All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! Little bit of change of scenery for me. I'm not in my studio for this one today. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to the Shea. It's FC Halifax Tan v Barnet in the National League. So I've got my work cut out for me over this month. All these backlog of games of two a week and me moving house on Friday. I'm going to be absolutely knackered. It's hope that this game don't get cancelled like the last one did at short notice. But anyway, that's enough of chatting bollocks. Let's get into the football news. <laughs> So Halifax finished 16th last season in the National League, where they played 46, they won 13, they drew 16, they lost 17, scoring 48, conceding 58, giving them a goal difference of minus 10, and they finished on 55 points. They currently sit 15th in the National League, where they've played 35, they've won 9, they've drew 16, they've lost 10, scoring 28, conceding 32, giving a goal difference of minus 4, and they're currently on 43 points. And the last five games have been two wins, two draws, and one loss. Jamie Fullerton is his name, and he's been in charge of the Shaman since the 20th of April 2018, where he's taken 50 games, winning 14, drawing 22, losing 14, giving him a win percentage of 28%. <laughs> Number seven, Matty Koslo, who has four goals and three assists in 32 games. 17th of March 2015, Curtis Weston giving us the lead, but Halifax pulled one back in the 92nd minute after Dave Stevens got a red card. Both teams sharing the points. So with that all being said, you know what's coming. Let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Tomorrow, because I'm staying over, obviously. Fuck you, Halifax Tan. Stick to taking everyone's money and getting us into a recession and making stupid adverts, laughing and joking about it like it's one big joke. Extra, extra, I know you want more. I'll give you something extra when you walk through my door. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. Stein 11 for Barnet in tonight's 3 5 2 against FC Halifax Tan. Mark Cousins in goal. Shea Alexander as your right wing back. Elliot Johnson as your left wing back. Your back three of Captain Callum Reynolds, Craig Robson, and Dan Sweeney. Two in the middle today Ari Taylor and Medi Alito. Wesley Fonguk in the advanced playmaker role. Jack Barham and Shaquille Cole first up front. And this is how FC Halifax Tan line up for tonight. I mean, you can do a lot better than this, just tweeting your team at. About 15 goals. On, still nil nil, very even. Halifax with a more dangerous chance. Shot from about 25 yards, straight down the cousin's throat. Nothing that we can't really handle. Nil nil at the moment. About 70 minutes in, it's still nil nil. Halifax should be one nil up. Brilliant ball played through. We're sleeping, just ball watching. Midfield to defence. He's closing in. Cousins forces him wide. Takes a shot, hits side net in. Lucky there. Massive let off. About half hour in, still nil nil. If there's gonna be someone who's gonna score, it's gonna be Halifax. They're knocking on that door. We ain't had a shot on target. We are very sluggish and slow with our reactions. 37 for Halifax is winning every header and we're allowing him to do this every single time. Wake up Barnett. Back 10 to the half, it's Halifax turn one, it's Barnett nil. I said it was coming. 
free kick whipped in all the way to the back post. Don't really clear it that well. Lands to a Halifax player on the edge of the area, has a shot. Cousins does really well to push it wide, but it lands at the feet of another Halifax player. Who has a shot on goal, Cousins gets an arm to it, hits the roof of the net and goes in. Slow reactions by us, just standing there watching it. No one taking responsibility to get rid of the ball. Less than five to the half, still one nil to Halifax. It's taken us a good 40 minutes to wake up and play some football. Little spell we've had of passing it in triangle, but our strikers have had nothing to work with all game. Halifax look dangerous every time they go forward. Half time here at the Shades, it's Halifax Tan, one, it's Barnett, nil. Halifax look good every time they go forward, they're dangerous. We just look like we're not bothered. I've always wanted to use the old football manager cliche, our strikers are feeding off scraps. I don't want to hear people say that, you can't play on this pitch because Halifax have played some nice football, but we haven't. We've struggled in parts. Our reaction time is absolutely shocking, just standing there watching, see if we can do something in the second half. Come on, Barnett. 60 minutes into the second half, Halifax Tan, two, Barnett, nil. I have no idea how they've scored that. Again, we're just standing around. They're passing it around inside our box, just watching them. Then he just slots it underneath Cousins. We had about seven players in the box, just stood there like fucking statues. Into the last 15 of the game, Halifax still lead 2 0. We still haven't had a shot on target, that's all. And then about three minutes after that, Halifax turn three, Barnett, nil. I've got to laugh just because of a, I'll, I'll be crying otherwise. Overpowered us down our left hand side. Played the ball into the box. Three of their players queuing up the score. And guess who scores it? Manny Doku. I used to like you, mate. We've been shit. Not much more I can say than that. We're shit. Conference South. Uh, we might even be Conference North. We might have a lifeline just yet. Just been given a penalty. Shaq to take. Oh, I don't fucking believe this. I don't fucking believe this. What do you think fucking happens? It's a 90th, just had it on four. Just fucking put us out of misery now and end it. Fuck the four minutes, take the points. Just fuck off. Send in the clowns. Those daffy, laffy clowns. So the game finished, FC Halifax Tan 3, Barnet 0. We'll start off by saying well done to Halifax. They was first to every ball. They won everything in the air. They won every first ball, won every second ball. They won every first tackle. They won every second tackle. We were beaten by a team who had sheer desire to win. They just wanted it more than us. They had more fight, passion, desire, all their magic words that I can just throw out right now. And we rocked up like a typical southern soft, deer in headlights, bunch of tarts. Another game where we've gone up against a northern team where we're just not up for the fight. There wasn't many positives from last night. Cousins did well coming off his line and keeping the score down when a few one-on-ones we had to force them out wide. But we had one shot on target all game and that was the missed penalty. Really? So the bunch of frauds turned up yet again. We know they can play football. They've proved it in the cup games. I'd like to know who these leaders are that Darren keeps going on about because all I can see is a bunch of weak-minded players who don't want to get stuck in. For me, it's 50-50. Blame of players and coaching staff. Because we've got players and coaches who have been in this league for a long time now, they should know how it works. They should know how to win games, how to grind out, yet we're still struggling week in, week out. Because I think it comes down to the motivation. The boys clearly was motivated for the cup games, but when it comes down to a cold day up north on a Tuesday night, no one wants to know. So this is what I'm saying. If you had Martin Allen and he had you up by the throat in the dressing room and you had Darren Curry doing the same thing, who are you going to be scared of? Who are you intimidated of more? I know that's not Darren Curry's style, but these guys ain't listening. They need a fucking kick up the arse. A massive wake-up call is needed. As Barnet fans, do we ask for too much because you look at the team and 70% of them players have never played any higher than this league where well, the rest of them have only played league two so I struggle to understand why you lot act like a bunch of prima donnas thinking you can play at a higher standard and this level's beneath you all of a sudden maybe you need to ask yourself the question why you haven't gone up in levels at the end of the game Darren called all the players over to apologize to the fans who've traveled all the way up to Halifax on a Tuesday night and spunked over on Japan for people who stayed over like myself to get given that performance and are you thinking that's a nice thing nah to me, I'm calling bollocks. That don't wash for me. You were sincere, Darren. We can see that. Half them players, they don't want to come over and shake their hands and say, I'm sorry, apologies for all that performance. Couldn't give a fuck. You've got the best job in the world. If you can't get yourself motivated now, then you might as well retire from football because it's going to be the same no matter where you go in the world. You kick a bunch of leather filled with air for a living. You can do that anywhere in the world. I'm struggling to see where we're going to go from here. It is like we're stuck in the twilight zone. It is Grand Dog Day again, just like last season. But next up, another Northern team away to Gateshead on Saturday. But you know what to do. Ta-da.